Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the actionable notifications that comes along with the virtual agent of service now. So to start with that, there are two types of actionable notifications. First one is the one when a comment is added to a particular ticket and user receives a notification in Teams and he can apply on top of that. So let's take a look how that one works. So I am logged in with one of the user named Jatin for now and let's take a look at the incident assigned to him and the caller's name is Harshad. So if he opens this ticket and if he has got any query, for example, this ticket talks about app development in one of the server. So Let's say the person who is working on the ticket is having any query, for example, what could be the one? So the ticket description says that uh, an app needs to be deployed in an old server and the user who is working on the ticket is not quite sure which server are we talking about. So he adds a comment on the ticket. So once the comment is added, the person who is this ticket will receive a notification in Microsoft Teams. So I'm logged in in Microsoft Teams as Hashid. And this is the notification that Hashid has received on his virtual agent app saying that this is the comment from Jatin which so we need to deploy this app. So to take a look about at the ticket, either user can click on view ticket details and this Ticket will open in the portal and where we can take a look about the comments and what our activity has happened on the ticket or else user also has an option to reply on top of this particular comment. So let's say user decided to reply saying that IP is this and once user clicks on send the same ticket with incident number 10351 will be updated with Harshad's comment so and we received a message saying that your message was successfully added to the ticket let's go back to the ticket now and we will be able to see the comment given by Harshad in the Microsoft Teams so to reply back to what Jatin's comment was this user did not need to log in into service now via browser he was able to successfully reply by just replying in Microsoft Teams on top of Jatin's comment. So this is first kind of actionable notifications which is possible as of today using the now virtual agent app. The second type of notification is where uh, an approver does not need to log in into service now to accept or reject a request. For example if I open one of the catalog items named software. So this is the user Jatin and his reporting manager in the system is Harshad. Let's say user wants a software named Adobe. So once this request is submitted, it will be sent for manager's approval which in this case is Harshad again so Harshad should be receiving an approval request in Microsoft Teams so if I submit this request
So request is submitted, it is waiting for approval and a notification as well received in Microsoft Teams. Approval for request on new software. So here either Hashid can reject the request or approve the request if he wants to reject the request in that case. There is a need to add the comments as well. Let's try to reject without adding a comment. So there is an error message which says that rejection was not successful because comments were not added. Now let's try by giving a comment. If I am going to reject the request now, it will be successfully rejected. The rejection was successful. Now let's navigate to the ticket and see if it was actually rejected or not. So it says rejected by Hashit Chaga and we can also look for this ticket in the back end so the ticket is rejected and now let us also check how the approval flows go so i'm going to create another request Let me go back in the browser window itself. So this catalog item opens again which is a demo catalog item which I created specifically for this demo. Let's take a different software this time. Anything XYZ. So the request is submitted again waiting for this user's approval and the request is received. So when user wants to approve, it is not mandatory that he gives any comment. So let us just try to approve it from here. So the approval was successful. Now let us also validate this in the back end. If the request was successfully approved or not. So if I go to the approvals tab, the request is approved. So this is how uh, actionable notifications in service now, now virtual agent app works. Thank you for watching.